An RIT professor is using technology to help children around the world. 13 Wham's Jim Adelinski got an inside look at how the group called Enabo is using 3D printers to open up new possibilities for children in need. This doesn't look like much now, but after just a few hours in this printer, the finished product takes shape. Their prosthetic arms and hands, and John Scholl is making them to give yeah. away. You want to make a difference where you can, and this turned out to be a place to do it. The group is called Enable. They make and assemble the prosthetics using a 3D printer. Scholl first heard about the idea a year and a half ago and immediately started setting up a network online. People say, I need a hand. People say, I can make a hand. We help bring them together. From the printer to kitchens all over the world, Enable is helping kids like Lucy, who's still learning to use her new skill set. There's strings that all the way that make the fingers bend. Lucy was born without a left wrist or hand, but that all changed a few weeks ago. I'm actually really happy because, like, stuff I couldn't do before, I can do now. The Santangelos live in Greece. They looked into prosthetics a few years ago, but it was a little out of their price range. And they said they ranged anywhere from twenty dollars to $40,000. That's where John Scholl and E. Nabel came into play this summer. He explained to her that she would be a pioneer and that pioneers try new things out and, you know, they give feedback on, you know, what works well and what's not working so well and how things can be improved. Each prosthetic takes about 12 hours to make and costs around 50 bucks. Student volunteers putting in a few extra hours allows them to cover the costs. Just seeing the smile on the face really does it all. And with hundreds of happy customers already, Enable is hoping more smiles are on the way. It's the gift that keeps on giving. In Rochester, Jim Adelinski, 13 Wham News. $50 mm. to change a child's life. Amazing. The CDC says one out of every 1,500 children in the U.S. is born with some sort of upper limb abnormality. Yeah, and Enable now has more than 20 variations of those prosthetics. You can read more about the group by hitting the 13 Wham.